Ooh, what is up guys and of course as always welcome back to another poorly used wife of bella versus joey and uh, yeah as you guys can see on my team i have a wish cast on my team uh-huh we are doing this we are definitely doing this my team is easily the coolest team here we have a luna tune with uh, rock mc actually no this is a lifer variant with a rock polish sweeper variant we have Creogonal with rapid spin wish cast with fly mc to see the bounce fly move really wanted to try that out with dragon as and whatnot um natural gift tropius with um with Leaf Blade and Dragon Dance Roost, really, really cover some sets. Very good towards a lot of matchup due to Lumber actually covering quite a lot. And Lumber, of course, being off base 80 flying move when it uses Natural Gift. So, really, really strong set. Haxorus, also Dragon Dance sets. I really just, something needs to dance and win. And then we have Marini basically as a defensive check and Toxic Spiker. Kind of wanted that Pokemon to work well, right? I mean, Toxic Spiker always is a good thing and definitely works here. And with Knockoff, yeah, that Mon actually got a lot better now, didn't it? And we're going up against a team here that definitely feels like a semi war team with um, Lycan Rock. We have a Meowstic here, which definitely could be a potential screener. Cabotops, which is probably the strongest Pokemon in PU to get with Misprit, is a really, really tremendous threat. Hitmonchan, definitely up there too. Good Rapid Spinner and it'll Priority and whatnot. And Prime Episode 2, Fine Tide, which is definitely uncommon to see. And um, I can't remember the name that um, Hyena, Mighty Hyena Pokemon, uh, which could be potentially very scary depending on the set. So really with this set, um, I'm definitely just going to lead off with my Wishcast and just try to get some Dragon Dances going on because potentially Wishcast could actually just win the matchup from the get-go. Uh, though as you guys probably will see, that necessarily won't happen uh, because the team looks to be defensive. I definitely was expecting the likes of a Meowstic or... Um, his Lycan Rock to be a lead potential due to Stealth Rocks alone. So I felt that I had a whisk cast overall was uh, I'm lying. I start off with the Valley so I do that. Um so I start off with a Lycan Rock and that's not a good thing. Um no I start off with Luna Tune. I'm I'm lying. I'm lying on my ass off. This is this is why I should record after I've watched the video. But we'll do this differently. So anyway I'm gonna bring Targar and uh, basically <laughs> do whisk cast stuff. So with the matchup here, I felt like okay, he goes for self right. That that's not an issue. I have rapid spin and whatnot, so I shouldn't worry. So I'm, I'm going directly for a dragon dance as it taunts me, and, and that's bad. Clearly, clearly I can't dance now. So okay, I felt like okay, go for earthquake. You can't hurt me. I shouldn't be necessarily worry. And we get a massive, massive earthquake on him, but he's actually sashed, which I probably should have seen coming. And what I also should have seen come with that in mind is that he has countered. So I'm like, yeah, that's that's how I wanted to use Whiskas. Nice. That's that's useful. Uh, so <laughs> what I'm gonna do now is go into Objevi, which is my um Krogonal, and go for that disrespectful uh, rapid spin KO. Uh, he goes for a taunt actually, which I felt was surprising. Then again, it is with priority. So I guess it was in any way I would try to recover anything like that. Uh, which I'm definitely not going to do against a rock type. So, yeah, we get the KO on the Lycan Rock, and nothing really to it, as we get the Stealth Rocks out of the field. So, we're looking good here, like nothing really never happened. It's 5 for 5 now, Whiskas, we're, we're Whiskas weaker, but th that's right. As we go to Face Punch, or he goes to Face Punch, and uh, my switching here is Marini. Um, one thing I should say about Marini is here that it can potentially do too much this, too much this, blah, too much this Pokemon, but it could potentially carry Drain Punch, but I should be able to do well against it. But sadly, we don't see Life I was kind of hoping for that, because that means Knockoff would have been relevant. Uh, Thunder Punch does roughly 40%, and while I do get my Toxic Spikes up, at this point, I am kind of need to recover. Um, just to be in that sweet spot area where I can take another Thunder Punch. As it goes for Rapid Spin, uh, that's quite alright. I was kind of hoping that I will get in a spot here where I could potentially burn him with Scald. Um, Marini is definitely bulky enough to uh, go toe-to-toe -to -toe with Hitmonchan and definitely without life orb as uh, he goes directly for a Thunder Punch yet again and it does roughly 50-40% but it does get a score of Paralyzation on me and that's never good uh, that's definitely never good as we go for Skull here so that's definitely a Salt Vest variant and we don't get the burn and I don't necessarily want to risk getting full Paralyzation and be in a very tough spot as it goes to Rich Cat which is the Meow Stick and um, I'm actually going to go directly to my uh, Tropius, no, but Valis. I, I wanted to go Tropius. Tropius is coming, you just beware. 
as uh, I'm just gonna go for a dual leaf stealth frogs here. I was an opening for doing so, and uh, overall here, my opponent here does go for the screening, and I just definitely just wanted to receive damage. If anything, you know, potentially doesn't do anything towards me, but it does kind of stress him out, plus I'm stalling out the turns a little bit. So knowing that he is a screener, I'm going to stall that out even more with Gajira. I'm going to actually just go directly for my Dragon Dances because I am bulky. Like Tropius is one thing and it, it is a freaking bulky Bananasaurus Rex. So he goes for a Psychic, I was really hoping don't get a special defense drop. Uh, it does roughly 70, so it's not a threat. I definitely at best a 3 hit KO. And with Roost in mind and whatnot, I can easily set up against this and actually just keep on going. Uh, he kind of realized that too. And knowing that I actually become stronger and stronger as he switching Absol sucks to Mighty Yena. And the same thing here. Uh, it is not necessarily a threat towards me even though Intimidate is unfortunate. It should be stated here that it is not a key threat towards me depending on his set. Crunch definitely do heavy or a good chunk of damage, but that is at best. So with this in mind, I actually go directly for Roos, kind of just scouting whether or not he carries the Ice Fang. They have a tendency of doing so. Um, he does not. Goes directly for the Crunch. And um, we don't see a life orb damage here, which I felt was good. At the same time, this means like we can't stall him out for still damage. We need to keep on going and uh, just basically from here on out go for Roos whenever the opportunity comes till the Reflect are gone. Uh, but yeah, he clearly do a bit more than I want to, but at the same time, you know, he can't KO Tropius head on. He definitely need that defense round to be able to come around. Basically, what a roost makes me makes me have more than I do believe I, I recover roughly 30 HP more than I losing what I roosting. So I'm I'm stalling freely here, and um, I think my opponent see this too that we're just. I'm not worried about the situation as long as I don't get that defensive drop. And when I get the defense drop, all I'm really aiming for, to be completely honest with you guys, is that um, he's going to go for the sucker punches and try to get a maneuverability around that. As we're now full recovered, he goes for crunch yet again. Um, and I mean, it does damage. It really does damage. The reflect wears off. I will decide now to actually attack him just to hope for an easier switching to be dealing with because this actually does more damage than I wanted to as it keeps on going for crunch and now I believe I am in an area where I believe a sucker punch will take me out so with that in mind I'm going to predict him and go for the roost as he actually keeps going for the crunches and I mean <laughs> this is definitely one of those things like I'm expecting something that is not happening and not only that I will continue roosting thinking that's the ideal play, however he doesn't sucker punch on me so this becomes fairly stally because I don't necessarily know what to do as uh, now he actually will get that defense drop. And what does that mean? Well it means that sucker punch might very well KO but I can't stall him out for roost anymore because now I actually need to attack him but luckily it's, it looks like he actually aren't carrying the... Um, what do you call it? The sucker punch move. So this is really good for us as he goes back to Rich Cat. Now this should be stated. He is a prankster user. We have seen Reflect. We've seen Light Screeners in Psychic. So with this in mind, there really are possibly only one more move he can be carrying. And at this point, I I'm back on it not being Thunder Wave. And even if it is, well, we are always Lumbery. So we're not, we're not in a dangerous zone of anything. So we can keep on going for the screens he wants to. I'm going to keep setting up because he can't touch the Tropius in the way he wanted to and that's awesome as we we'll, he just go for a Psychic all I'm really hoping here, and I'm going to be completely honest with you guys, is that it doesn't get a special defense drop also I was really scared of seeing Ice Punch on Hitmonchan, it looks like that can't, can't necessarily be the case as he goes for Dragon Dance, I was going to say Rain Dance here and that's okay because what that means is basically that his Cabotops potentially could be carrying Rocky MC. But even if it does, I should still be faster. And I am a grass type, so I'm doing, even with a reflecting mine, we're still doing a four four times effective hit with Leaf Blade. So what I'm basically doing is stalling out those well annoying reflect turns because at this point. Uh, what I need is an opening and the only way for me of actually grabbing that is by actually of course stalling out the turns here um, I felt really dirty uh, with this Tropius set, I'm, I'm not gonna lie since of course Tropius isn't doing anything besides actually just well recovering so he's actually gonna switch out 
and go into prime time, which is the prime ape. But here is where my opponent will get a nasty surprise. Not only am I faster, but with natural gifts, I am now having that 120 base power flying hit. And if it would reflect in mind, he's not going to survive this. And look at the HP bar now. Look at the HP bar. Whack. You see that? You see... <laughs> That, that's a nope. And of course we kick in the harvest, which means that Hitmonchan will not even survive this either. Uh, and I think at this point I actually decided to go for the potential sweep. As uh, I'll, I'll probably see that he's going for probably another rain dance here to try to outspeed my Tropius. But at plus 6, yeah, that's not happening. That is not happening. Tropius is most certainly, even though it is a freaking slow Bananasaurus, it is still a speedy... Bananasaurus, but yeah, Leaf Blade is enough to KO during during reflect due to critical hit, and that's always going to be a factor with these moves. Um, and and clearly this was what had happened: twenty percent chance of crit. Yeah, eventually it's going to kick in. Uh, so bringing Cabotops, but no, no, you're not faster than me. Not in rain. I'm sorry, you're going down, Cabotops. You're nothing. And his last Pokemon is the Hitmonchan, and due to Harvest kicking in before. We're going to go for that magical natural gift again. And what do you know? Tropius actually turned out to be quite a decent mana, this Wiper Bell. And it has a lot to do with the lack of ice moves on my opponent's side. To be completely honest, if you lack that, then Tropius can be very devastating. And clearly, the Dragon Dance set isn't necessarily the best set. But it definitely did work here. But then again, I had three Dragon Dancer on this team. So, I mean... <laughs> who is at fault here? Uh, I definitely just wanted to, wanted to work somehow. So this team definitely is nothing that is viable for PU, but it worked here because my opponent necessarily didn't have what it was was required to deal with Atropius. Um, that said, you know, had he had Ice Punch on Primate or whatnot, things would have been a lot dirtier, but luckily for us, that didn't transpire. After two Dragon Dances, Atropius was just uh, enough to outspeed everything in his team. And uh, eventually, also with the roost in mind, also to bulk it actually to with KO and being able to stall the screens that he was creating. So I was probably a bit lucky here, but at the same time, my god, was that an enjoyable battle. So thank you for, of course, as always, guys, for watching. And uh, yeah, also thank you, Joey, of course, for the battle. It was really fun. <laughs> Just to get the Tropius working was great. That will probably never happen again. I, I told you guys, one per generation Tropius sweep. We gotta have that. So, anyway, guys, for watching. I'll see you next video. Till then. Take care.